Hey, Fish Heads, Jen Crevasi, Jekyll Bates. Welcome to another workshop update. Today is, what is today? Let's figure that out. Today is Wednesday, July 24th, 2024. This is your workshop update. I've got a few pieces, so we should be able to get through this fairly quick. I'm going to start out over here. By now, you guys have probably already seen the barrage of media that we put out between myself and Jekyll Bates and Bullshad, because I do a lot of their media as well. Some edits and, and filming that we've been doing over the last couple of months on this brand new, first time ever, Mike has put out an ABS glide bait. It's really cool. This is the new six inch ABS trick shad. And the colors here are colors in consideration. I do not have, because we've been going through this very quickly, I've got a lot of footage and I did a lot of filming when I was painting the original tin colors because they gave me autonomy and I worked with uh, a couple of collaborators <clears throat> to get our colors nailed down for the first 10 that are coming out. But these are new colors in consideration for a spring launch. So if you like any of these, drop me a comment below and let me know you like this. Um, and we will consider them for our spring launch, which is going to be a much more drilled down, like hyper-realistic representation of different fish that you guys are going to see across America. So if you guys are interested in seeing like maybe... Um, uh, sunfish slam where I do like four or five different series and then hopefully in the future there will be the opportunity for me to paint blanks of these of the original baby trick shads or trick shads as they were I don't think they're calling them babies um, this is a bluegill my representation of that does not have my signature on it because when I'm painting for industry um, I can't be that <laughs> it's not egotistic but um, I can't sign my stuff because it's all going to go into the painters that are going to be putting the paint on it. There we go. There's a little tiny. So this is a consideration. <clears throat> Obviously a crappie. You would want a white or a black crappie because you can find them pretty much all over the country. So that's for consideration. And then this is probably not going to be considered, but I can definitely see myself doing something like this in the future um, as a custom, as some, some maybe signature series limited edition runs. Um, really, really love the carp. So we were able to show these guys at GSM Outdoors. I took some physical copies like this. And this is on the clear blank. You guys have already been asking questions. Will there be clear blanks available from GSM Outdoors for the Trick Shad? I have no idea. There's no answer to that yet because we're just releasing this. So the regular 10 colors that I'm going to show now, those are going to be available in October, maybe early November to the general public worldwide. So those are going to be distributed uh, places that you're well familiar with, like Bass Pro Shops, Dick's. Academy, all of your mom and pop stores. We did very, very well at iCast. So there's a quick rewind of the actual colors. And I, some of them were, you know, out with clients and stuff because iCast is not a consumer based. It's the one time of the year where everybody can get together from, uh, from business to business networking. Your manufacturers, your distributors, your buyers, your retail stores. <laughs> All of those, it's an industry-specific trade show, and it's the one time of the year that we can do that without customers. So there's nothing to sell at iCast. It's just business to business. So a lot of people confuse that. They're like, oh, you know, bring me home this or bring me home that. It's not like that. It's just a way for the business side of the fishing industry to make that connection because most of business is done through conversation. About 90% of the business world, regardless whether it's fishing or any other industry, that's carried through conversations, making those relationships, forming those bonds that last stand the test of time. So there's a lot of different takes on ICAST, the benefits, the not maybe so good benefits. Um, we always have a good time. We were in the GSM booth, so I got to meet a lot of the other brands under the GSM umbrella, including for the first time, I got to meet Gary Dobbins, which was the coolest experience. What an awesome dude. Um, absolutely loved him. 
So I've, I've spoken with him. And of course, Bryce, I've met over the years at Dobbins. It is an acquisition through GSM Outdoors, but to clear the air, when a company that's not a liquidator company, when let's say somebody wants to retire, in, in the case of Gary Dobbins, he's 65 years old, he wanted to have a retirement, a life after this business. So the general manager is in place, Bryce is still there, Bryce is doing well. Um, they don't want to screw up a good thing. So unless you have a liquidator come in and, and ac- acquisition or purchase a big company and just push it all out through liquidation, most acquisitions don't behave like liquidators. So they want the company to run the way it's always run because they know that that was the best business model and they put their best foot forward or they wouldn't have gotten that big. Yamamoto, same thing. So Dobbins Rods, Yamamoto, Bill Lewis, Phoenix Rods, which is really awesome. Big Bite Baits is part of the GSM umbrella. They are quickly amassing some really awesome, awesome pieces of and businesses on the fishing side of things. So really, really happy to be a part of that. Back into the bait side of things and what I'm going to show you today. That was just my little iCast recap. There's lots of different takes on it, but we were extremely happy to be a part of that this year with GSM Outdoors. So thank you. Um, And it's baits.com. If you want, it's just literally www.baits.com. If you guys want to check out all of the really cool brands, including the Buca brand under the GSM umbrella. So in playing with a few things, I'm going to stay with glide baits here for a second because I've got three more of them here. Um, I've been playing around with some much simpler, cleaner patterns. Uh, This 8-inch right here is going out to Zuni. And I wanted to make sure that this stuff is getting out on a timely basis. So this is a very beautiful, clean gizzard for him. They get that grayish blue up top and a really nice creamy bone base, some darker pec fins, just a little bit of stenciling on the gill plates, cheeks, because shad definitely are known for having those little dark spots. And then the other 8-inch. Eight 8s have been popular lately. You guys have really been liking the, pot, uh, the the larger style along with the smaller. So that's a good mix. This is a custom that's ready to go out. It's actually been ready for a little bit. So nice little amount of color shift in this bait. And then recently, um, you guys saw two spray sessions that I released. This is... The clear-coated, color-shifty, that nice pearl on the cheeks. And just really muted down, bruising. So this is how that bait turned out. Really happy with it. And these are going to be going out the door today. If I sound like Elmer Fudd, it's only because I kind of am. Um, I always, whenever I go to ICAST, I come home with some sort of random funk. It's not COVID. Don't worry. Um, It doesn't feel like COVID. It just feels like summer cold. Uh, It's just made me have a nasty sinus headache and infection. But and this is the trout. And this is maybe one of my favorite Hinkle trout. I'm getting ready to paint like eight more. So um, I've got six shad and two trout that are going to be... firing up this week to get them out and then i've got just a few other customs and orders that i'm gonna have and i'm gonna be running the camera a lot more you guys are gonna see a bunch more of me um i've had some things taken off my plate graciously by mike um they want to get more active with social media on their end of things which allows me Uh, The chance to do more stuff with Jekyll Bates, which I'm super thrilled about. I've been neglecting you guys, and I'm really sorry about that. It's just, it's the sum of all parts. And I arguably would not be where I'm at 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 the level that I'm at in the industry without Bullshad Swim Baits. How cool is that? Isn't that pretty? It really looks lifelike. You can see the depth in that. And that's just by, so that final red line 
really dark, really thin. You want to take the top off of that airbrush, the little nozzle head, expose the, the needle, and just very low pressure push that red into the pink. And that's what gives you as much of a lifelike pattern as you could possibly want. I did the same thing in the gills and the indentations there as well. But yeah, really, really happy with how this turned out. If you guys want any of the glide baits that uh, that I do in trout, hit me up, drop a comment below, and uh, I'll let you know how to get a hold of me for custom orders. Now, having said that, we're getting ready to go back into show season. So just um cautionary tale i get really really busy and really backed up so the sooner you guys get custom orders into me the better and then i've got some bone pearl so this is a spinoff on the colorway i've done for um the baby bull shad that gold that you it's also one of our stock colors on the new trick shad is that beautiful bone pearl and i've just added a little bit of scaling to the top of that that hex scale which i like using and then tricked out the eyes just a little bit on this one 2.5 love the rattles on this and then i also did a little bit more of a blue i love those silver blues and shads as well yes there's no shad dot that's on purpose and then on this one just a couple of little silver scales, those holographic scales. And you always want, if you have any of that foil tape or any of the iridescent stuff, you really, really want that underneath your clear coat. When you put it on top of the clear coat, it's just gonna peel right off and you're gonna anger your customers. So get it under, it's not, it's, clear coat is clear, so it's not gonna affect how holographic this is. You can see that. And then these are some of the older Jetson custom eyes. I was digging through all my eyes for the custom stuff and just happened to see a bunch of that. And then I've got a little bit, of, you can see it, that uh, holographic imaging, which is just, it's mica um, on the top of this bait. So super clean, love doing it. Got a little silver line down the lat, that medium line. That, my friends, is all the news is fit to print. Thanks so much for hanging out, checking out the video. Consider subscribing, drop a comment if you want to see more of this cool stuff, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.